I love becoming super small. Hmm. Whoa. We can draw symbols. It looks really cool. So there's connections going to this thing to three of these. Only the ones that have these. And I can't click them again after I after I press them, so I think they're just on now and that's fine. I guess I need to draw the symbols that they show. Just one at a time? Okay, I mean, let's try one. So, it's an hourglass, and this shows you where to start from. Oop, oh, no. Now oh, I can't rotate around this, can I? Dang. That makes it harder. I want the start point to be where it was for the, the image over there. Um, was that it? Okay. Yeah, it's hard for me to visualize this. Might be easier actually just to like see where I need to do it like this, where I have a free view and then go into it. It's always going to reorient me this way. So to the side and then forwards and then like, uh, 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 I think, yeah, I think I got it. It's basically the same thing we just did, but with one less step. Yes, 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 yes. And finally, we have a line that goes down two and then makes a diamond. Does it go down two or just one? No, it goes down two. Hmm, hmm. No. It goes down two and then it tries to make it... Oh, go this way? Yes. Those have little plus slots. Okay, so I'm missing one magnet. Oh, that means I can't solve this yet, right? I assume. Yeah, not yet. Constellation. Um, it looks like there's a list of maybe constellations over here. End up here. Those aren't lists of constellations. Those are coordinates, aren't they? So I need coordinates to start with. Oh, there's a couple. Or maybe there's one coordinate, actually. Hmm. Oh, 
hold on. There's markings. Okay. Okay, got it. Wooden model piece. Oh, hold on. Is that a symbol there? Uh, it is, but I don't think it's relevant. God, there's so many things to check out. I'm just like, dude, ah, what first? was needed on one of the other model pieces. And there's two more coordinates. Do I have enough coordinates? Should I just start putting them in? I don't know about an order or anything. Let's start with this one. Um, that thing. And then squiggly. That thing, and then squiggly. Uh, and I can't have the coordinates for um, backwards because there's totally different symbols on the row and columns. Yeah, so it has to be that thing and then squiggly. I don't know, let's try the other coordinate. Snake and thing. So, clock face is needed here. So cool. A model boat. Thanks, L. Right, well, the big square building goes here, and that there is a dock there, so that's probably where the boat goes. all these little animal things inside of these buildings. Thank you, rat. with a very strange handle.
Where do I need keys? I just found something on the floor. A sphere suspended in a cradle. Anything else on the floor that I missed? Oh, that's so cool! And there's the magnet. Which goes... Where did that go again? It was in one of these things. It was in this thing, I think. Oh, right. They're magnets. It's repelling these things. Where do I need them to be? Yeah, where do these dots need to be? Is there a key that goes in the top? Well, apparently not. That looks really interesting up there, though. It looks super cool. I just discovered something. This constellation viewfinder thing, it has a grid on it that looks just like the magnets, and I set it to one of those two coordinates, and it's focused here, and if you notice, these black dots are in the proper areas. So I think this is the combination that we're supposed to have for the magnets. Though I do wonder about the other one. Now that I've seen this. Middle, right, right, left. Let's check the other one. I think it's that and that. Let's double check. Snake and then thing. <laughs> Snake, thing, yes. Does this match up with anything? This also matches up with stuff. So which one? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe one and then the other? So, middle, right, left, right. Middle, right, left, right. Yeah, the challenge is going to be actually getting them, getting them that way. Middle, left, middle, right. Yes, there we go. Yeah, that doesn't advance it all the way, so we do need the other one. Which I just said out loud just a little bit ago, and guess what? I don't remember. But it's okay, I know where it is. It's that thing, and that thing, and there we go. Middle, right, right, left. Middle, right, right, left. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, this... This should do it. This must be the thing that goes here.
that what this key is for? <laughs> Inside is a miniature version of the whole thing on the outside. So cool. Oh no. Oh, we're going very deep. That is expecting something to go inside of it. Diver's helmet, I think. Talisman and Co. Manufacturers of diving apparatus. Prototype model. A rivet and three symbols. The rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. Everything here you can mess with. These two things need to be unlocked before I can unscrew this. What am I supposed to do with an antler? Oh, I think I see where it's missing a rivet. Oh, never mind. It's there. <laughs> it was just kind of dark. I thought this one was missing. Ah, here we go. Metal acorn? How cool. Oh, it 
opens. A wooden model piece. I think that's the last piece that goes on the board. Okay, hold on. There's something here. This shows... Hmm... This must be related to these symbols, right? Or is it? Three hats. Triangle thing. Are those even here? Triangle thing. Three hats. Yeah, they're here. What is it associating them with exactly, though? Directions? North? Northeast? Southeast? Like, is that what it is? I don't know, but either way, we don't have anywhere to apply this just yet. go in there. I think the... Actually, I guess the acorn probably isn't the thing that goes here. I was thinking because it's kind of roundish, but actually, now that I've opened it, it isn't. this thing? Is it this? Or, oh no, this is this thing. Oh, that's where the antler goes. Oh. Probably need to mirror the other side. I need for that yet. I guess the metal pointer probably goes here, because this doesn't have a pointer. Yes. Well, let's do the three symbols. I remember those. Maybe. Sort of infinity symbol, checkerboard, three hats. Oops. Sort of infinity symbol. Oop. Sort of infinity symbol. Checkerboard. Three hats. Copper tap.
crystal file. Looks so cool. That, ah, that goes in here. Oh, that's so cool. Even the miniature that it shows here is, it reflects the fact that I've opened up the top. glowing gemstone that spawned from blood. Now this goes up here. It's a lamp. I just built myself a lamp. I love how in the room three there's more a sense of being in an environment. I mean, not just being in an environment, but like being in a place that has multiple places. There's a sense of movement between places rather than just an animation of going through a door and then you you basically just teleport to another room. This feels much more like a place we're actually traveling within. Also, the fact that I'm solving puzzles on a little island really just brings back mist for me feels very misty The spin when that isn't locked in. I feel like this must be able to spin. I think this lantern's supposed to go in the center. Oh, I can zoom in. Obviously, I can't fit it in there right now. Okay, what if I lock it back in place? No. Obviously missing a point of interaction. Ah, okay. So if I unlock this, then the outside spins. Oh, 
Oh, I think I see what to do. I need to lock one side, move it, with the goal of being to make an open place so I can get the lamp in. So, like, that's open on the bottom. Then we lock the top. Another one of the keys. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat. Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. Ah, now we're back here, and if we look out, we can see the lighthouse lit up. A little, little bit hard to actually kind of look out, but you can see it up there from the corner. <laughs> yeah, this really is a cohesive environment. It's very cool. All right, well, I think I'm going to leave the episode for now, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. And when I return, we're going to put in the second key.